weather here in Oklahoma is very different from South America. Brett Anthony and Brandon Woolley from our Storm Shield weather team are live to tell us about conditions here and in Brazil. 70s in Rio right now, Brett. Yeah, it's very nice down there, and Brandon's going to talk about how it's a whole different season down in the Southern Hemisphere. Today, boy, summer in full force here as we had high temperatures reaching 100 degrees again. Talala 101, Bixby 101, Bartlesville 101, Hectorville at 100 degrees, and Copan at 100 degrees. And look at 102 at Okmulgee, 102 also out in Stillwater, so a hot day across green country and it's going to be hot again tomorrow and that UV index is going to climb right around 10 at 2 p.m. as the heat index climbs at 107 tomorrow afternoon 107 also at 4 p.m. and still 105 at 6 p.m. right now we don't have any heat advisories in effect but one will likely be issued for Thursday as we mentioned it is winter in the southern hemisphere let's take a look at the current conditions as we see a live picture here from Copacabana Beach Reminds me of the Barry Manilow song, Brandon Lilly. <laughs> <laughs> At the Copa, what's it like down there as we head toward the Olympics opening ceremonies Friday night? Uh, Brett, good evening to you and good evening, everyone. Much more comfortable in Rio. You can see the current temperature at the International Airport now at 70 degrees there, two hours ahead of Tulsa Central Time. Mostly cloudy skies, the relative humidity at 78 percent, and an easterly wind between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. So timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation overnight tonight through tomorrow on your Thursday. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies and a slight chance for some light showers or some drizzle with that area of high pressure well offshore, bringing an onshore flow to the Rio area. But that's going to change, folks, over the next several days. You can see on your latest five-day forecast, Friday through the weekend, mostly sunny skies, becoming partly cloudy on Sunday with those high temperatures into the 80s to close to 90 degrees. And then a shift once again Monday, mostly cloudy skies, a chance for showers down to 77 degrees. But I like this extended forecast, Brett, compared to ours. But you're going to talk about our weekend forecast forecast here coming up. Yeah, 88 would feel great that 88 on Sunday, though, if there's any distance races on Sunday, that would have a little impact. It's pretty warm even for December in uh, or I should say for August in Rio de Janeiro, which would be equivalent to our December or uh, even uh, January future track seven o'clock tomorrow morning. All clear. Put it into motion. Just a few high clouds coming in here. Tomorrow is going to be a very hot day, perhaps the hottest day we've seen so far this summer with hardly a cloud in the sky. Clouds approach Thursday night into Friday with a little disturbance. Notice we do have a few light rain showers, parts of Osage County, also out into K County. They move briefly to the east and fall apart. So if anybody sees any rain on Friday, it would be up to the north of Tulsa, Osage, Washington County, maybe into Montgomery County. Stay ahead of the heat. Stay ahead of the thunderstorms. Downloading our Storm Shield app available at stormshieldapp.com. Available, of course, for your iPhone and your Android devices, and you can move the radar around just like we do and we are tracking storms. Green Country Lakes, very uh, dry weather here recently. Keystone, though, still above average. Ulaga, Hudson, Fort Gibson, 10 killer and Eufaula now dropping back to average. 100 degrees, fifth time this summer we've done that after a steamy morning low of 81. 113 in 2011. That was the peak of that heat wave, and then the temperature started to slowly descend in the other direction. Just a few fair weather clouds out there late this afternoon. 98 degrees, south winds at 9 miles an hour. The heat index right now at 103. It's also 103 in West Tulsa near River West Festival Park. So a hot bike ride if you're riding onto the west side of the river down the bike trails there. 99 in Tahlequah right now. Coffeeville up to a 100. 101 at Bristow, Okmulgee, and Okima is at 100 degrees. Stigler at 102. So this evening, 98, but it'll feel like it's 105 to 110 through sunset. 93 at 9 p.m., still stifling hot, then 79 overnight in Tulsa. Some of the cooler readings will be found in Bartlesville and Independence and Tahlequah. Tahlequah last night fell to 68. Then tomorrow, just a hot day. Very warm start, 96 by noon, 102 tomorrow, but it's going to feel like it's about 107 to 108. High temperatures everywhere except maybe Grove and Stillwell and places right along the Arkansas border in the low 100s. Upper 90s, otherwise still dangerously hot. Then 99 on Friday, there's a 20% chance for a shower Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But highs are in the upper 90s each and every day, right on through the middle part of next week. And Brian, this looks like this might last until maybe past the 15th of the month. Wow. All right.